Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Velas here in San Diego. Suleiman Sissoko joins me. Congratulations, my friend. I'm just sort of your initial reaction to your 10 round win there. Oh, thanks, boss. I'm, I'm very happy, you know. It was a good, uh, good fight. The guy was tough, was strong. And yes, we got the, 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 the job done, sorry. What do you think the key to victory was for you in that fight? To stay in me, you know, to outbox him, move, keep working on my job. And yes, keep, keep him frustrated because he was frustrated. And uh, yes, you know, I was listening to my coaches. They told me, Suleiman, keep working, one, two, one, move, combination, move. And I did it perfectly. We'll talk about that crazy fourth round in a second, but just from your perspective, did it feel like a fun fight? Because if I was looking online and a lot of people around me, I think it was a fight that everyone enjoyed. Could you tell it was a pretty fun fight? Yes, for sure. You know, I went down, then he went down and the crowd was amazing, you know, especially when I went down, they were thinking like it will be over for me because the guy got uh, 19 uh, win, 19 knockouts. And then I came back, you know, I came back, dropped him down. So, yes, it was a good fight. That fourth round was ridiculous. I mean, I know we're only in March, but it will probably be in the round of the year shouts. Um, yeah, just talk to me. So you get dropped and obviously you've got to find the powers of recovery. How hurt was you when you were dropped? I was good, you know, I was good. It catched me very good. I went down and then I, I, I was talking to myself, Suleiman, move a little bit and then you come back and if you see any windows, go ahead. And then I, I saw the, the windows in my right hand. I touched him and I don't know how he get up, but he get up. <laughs> Well, I was literally just about to tweet, so Soko goes down, I look up, and next thing I know, you've cracked him and he's gone down, so um, yeah, really good powers of, powers of recovery from yourself. Yes, yes, you know, that's a championship round, I'm very happy, because uh, I can test myself, I test my chin, I test, I test my, my mentality, so yes, I'm very happy about that. Yeah. Obviously, you've still got that WBA belt, which, which helps with um, your rankings and your standing. I take it from here on in, you're looking to step the levels up again and you, you're kind of verging on uh, that world level, I suppose. Yes, but you know what? We, I think we're going to go down. It's not I think uh, we're going to go down at 147. I'm not that big enough for 154. So we're going to go down at 147 and keep working, get this ranking done. And can you, I mean, this is probably a question for Will actually, but I'll speak to you in a bit. Um, when you go down, I suppose, can you keep your ranking with certain governing bodies? Or I don't think so. But if you got like a good fighter, good opponent, yeah. you're gonna you'll, you'll yes, back. you're gonna get back right. yes very very quickly yes for sure. One question will be: Will it be easy for you to make one four seven? Oh, I think yes. Yeah. I think yes. Yeah. Uh, it's easy for me to make one forty one fifty four. I I eat every time, so you know I'm not struggling with the weight. So it will be a little bit hard at the end for sure. But I will make the weight for sure. And I suppose, obviously, going down, you, you're going to have your goals set for the end of the year. What do you want to have achieved by the end of 2022? What position do you want to have been in? We all keep working. Like, uh, like I say, we want a championship fight. We are ready for all of them. I keep learning, of course. I keep working. As soon as my coaches, my management team and my promoter uh, feel like I'm ready, we're ready for all of them.